It's the final polish. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hello, people on the internet. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I am helping out with one of their projects next door instead of them helping me out with one of mine. And I wanted to make a video for you guys on this because I thought you'd be interested in it. If you're new and you don't care about what I'm talking about right now, up above is a link to a playlist on this little restoration project of my go-kart. Anyway, we're gonna be working on an N.A. Miata today. This is a wild Fred in his natural habitat, a paint booth. Fred actually hates painting cars, but he's one of the best car painters I've ever met. It's a tragedy. So this is the car I'm gonna be helping out today working on. It is an N.A. Miata that Fred just recently repainted the factory color, Montego blue, green. I mean, honestly, I've seen brand new cars with more orange peel than this, so it's really not that bad. But we're gonna give it a good wet sanding and get rid of any orange peel that it has. Not trying to get it perfect show car, but gonna make it look pretty nice, hopefully. Jeff, can I wet sand you? Oh, you just want love, huh? You're a cute buddy. Jeff will sit on your foot if he loves you, and he always sits on my foot. I swear it's like 105 degrees in this paint booth right now. I don't know how it's so hot in here, but it is unbearable. Before I go any further, I wanna show you guys something. Here's a little bit of an example of one. See how there's like a little crescent moon shape right there? And then also right here. These are fish eyes in the paint. So there's like a little crater around the outside of it. Now, these things you have to be a little careful on just because if you don't know who painted the car, you have to sand a little deeper right here to get those out. And if you don't know how thick the clear coat is, then you could burn through to the base coat or you could use a paint gauge. Luckily, I have wet sanded one of Fred's paint jobs before on some parts on my MR2. So I know his painting style and I know how much clear coat he used on this car. So I don't have anything to worry about. I can just go to town with the 2000 grit and keep hammering it out until the little crater is gone. Basically I'm working little four inch by four inch areas at a time. That's some big four inches. That's what he said. <laughs> There's no reason why I skipped the end there. I'll hit that back when I come back by. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep going passes and breaking this up into a little grid. Welcome, welcome to the next day. It's time to get back to work on the Miata. Miata, 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 Miata. <laughs> this is not the detailing content I was talking about the other day in a video. Although this is kind of detailing, it's paint work. But that's because I have a new vehicle that I'm gonna be picking up here in a couple days. And I didn't wanna start working on any of my existing cars that's why I'm doing this video today. So there's the cat out of the bag. There's gonna be a new vehicle on the channel and it's a very sentimental thing. I'll leave it at that. So yeah, I'll go around the 5,000 and then you can just follow me with the buffer and then we'll kind of circle back around and then uh, I'll pick up the other buffer. That way it's just kind of like... That'll be faster, yeah. Never again will I ever not do 3000 grit before I polish. This was so easy. That was literally like two or three passes with the DA 
and it's perfect. It's already perfect. So there is the 3000 grit they did just now at the DA and then up above that is the 2000 grit. You can see a huge difference in why that would be easier to polish out. I literally polished this out on the MR2, the whole thing I did the MR2 in 2000. I think actually some of it was 15, I think I had some 1500 and I polished out 1500. Cause I didn't really know what I was doing. It was the first time I ever did this before. No, I mean, you can totally do that. It looks like bath soap. Why are you using Dawn dish soap again? I've never seen that before. Uh, it just kind of helps to lubricate the paper a little bit better. Um, I feel like it helps with cutting a little bit too. It just helps the water kind of stay, for lack of a better term, like it stays wet longer. It's like water wet there for your radiator. Yeah. We were having an important discussion off camera while it was time lapsing about if we were pirates, what our names would be. Christian over here is going to be Meat Hook. Fred's name would be Nutbeard. What? Your pirate name. It's me, a hook, Nutbeard, and my name would be Crimson Swallows. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh my god. And the little one down there, that's Buff Nugget. <laughs> was that off the cuff? That was like, that was not premeditated or what? This is Buff Nugget. Buff Say hello, nugget. Buff Nugget. Are you a Buff Nugget? Oh, you're licking your crimson swallows. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, you got sticky bird guys. Like, I've been licking my Buff Nuggets <laughs> the whole time. Why do you sound like the dude from Batman? Which, which dude from Batman? Bane. Bane? Oh, I was born into Buff Nuggets. <laughs> For our first, oh, there's a couple of swirls. For our first pass, that stuff does good. Oh yeah, hell yeah. When you buff, yes, sometimes. I feel like it. It's useful, but if you're very steady-handed, I don't feel like it's necessary. Yeah. Am I wrong to feel that way? No. Oh, that works really good. I look like a dehydrated, recycled bag of coconut. Thanks for reminding me to drink water. Yeah. Just carrying it around. <laughs> you should polish off that water. How long have we been working on this now for? All I got left to do is the hood, and then it's time for step two. Except for a couple little spots, gotta get the air buffer. Kind of went overboard with redoing a bunch of spots just because around the bulge right here, it, it was just bothering me. So I sanded it. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last day in this video. And yes, that is a Supra behind me. It is the four cylinder Supra though. 
I have not reviewed one of those yet up until now. It's really quiet out, there's no wind. Looks good in red too. Hmm. Anyway, back to working on this car. I know this seems super random to do this video out of like nowhere and the reason why is because I'm trying to get a little bit of practice in before I start painting my own cars because I still got to do the Focus and the TT. So I'm just trying to get myself back into the flow of doing this stuff before I take on such a big project. Knock out these little areas and then I can go over a stage two polish. You guys have already seen enough B-roll of this. So how about I just snap my fingers and all the little details get knocked out super fast. Go. Magically, just like that, two and a half hour later, it's done. That's the issue too running into with this car. This was actually a paid job back when Fred used to paint cars for customers. He doesn't do it anymore and uh, I can see why because when someone pays a certain amount to have a car painted and you have bad OCD, you're gonna want to put in more work than you're actually getting paid to do on the car. And that's the problem you run into. You have to draw the line with how much time you spend on it when you're only being paid for a certain level of work, but you're capable of doing much more. I can see why it's so stressful doing body work and paint work on cars. It's the final polish. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> Fred's gonna help out with my other DA since I got two of them. We're gonna knock this thing out. So it's the it's the final polish and also the final time lapse. see is green and blue paint right now. Everywhere I look, everything has a green and blue tint to it. You're earning about probably seven cents an hour on this paint job. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We legit have a serious problem because his OCD and my OCD are terrible when they're combined. 63 years later, we finish polishing the car. <laughs> Is this why you'll never paint another car for anyone ever again? You know how many times I've said that? <laughs> <laughs> and then like gone back on it? Cause like a little part of me is like, Man, I miss painting. You're like pretty good at painting, Fred. You should really, you know, paint cars. And then I'll be like, I'll take on a paint project. And then someone like this comes along and like, Hey man. <laughs> Give me a couple thousand bucks to spray my Miata, I'm like, sick. And my dumb ass is like, it needs to be perfect. <laughs> it needs to be perfect. <laughs> and then, yeah. Here we are, here we are. What was I even getting? Why did I get up? Why did I move? There was like some minute little hairline scratches in the 2000 grit that the average human being wouldn't bill a fine even if you gave them a magnifying glass and a flashlight but we decided that they were bothering us and we had to fix them. Literally no one would have noticed that spot that we just fixed. And we've done that everywhere on the car as we're going around of stage two polish. Everything is going back to 5,000 grit and then polishing again with stage one and now stage two. So there is the finished product. I can't believe how much this color changes in the sunlight. Like right now, it looks like a dark forest green, but you pull this thing out in direct sunlight and it's like a light teal blue green flip flop. That was an absolute nightmare doing this. It still needs a good detail and it has no wax on it. This is just polished out, so. Look how pretty. You can see the reflection of the sky and the clouds absolutely perfect in that paint. 
And this was like not even trying to get absolute perfection. Like we could have spent another two days on this thing. But yeah, this is this is nice. I am absolutely exhausted. I skipped eating lunch today just so I could help Fred get this thing knocked out in one day. Because as you're watching this right now, I'm not here. So actually I might be back already by the time you're watching this video coming back with another vehicle. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this random video on a uh, random Miata. It was kind of fun to make. It was stressful doing all this paint work and not letting your OCD get the best of you, but I think the owner of the car will be really happy. And don't ask in the comments, no, I will not paint your car or detail your car, and I'm pretty sure Fred doesn't want to paint any more cars either. <laughs> I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up in my shop, and uh, I will see you soon with another video. Bye.